Unit 4 Reproduction and Species Continuity Lesson 2 Sexual and Asexual Reproduction Reproduction Process Reproduction process is a biological process where the living organism produces new individuals of the same kind and thus ensuring its continuity. Types of reproduction. We have two types of reproduction. The first one is asexual reproduction. The second type is sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction. It is a process by which living organisms produce new individuals with genetic traits identical to those of their parents. Give reason for a sexual reproduction needs no special systems and structures to occur. This is because it takes place by mitosis division only. We will start with a one cell and we will end with two cells without any need for special organs for reproduction. Types of asexual reproduction. The first one is binary fission. The second one is budding. The third one is regeneration. The fourth one is spore propagation. The final one is vegetative reproduction. We will start with binary fission. It occurs in unicellular living organisms, such as unicellular protozoans, such as amoeba, paramecium, and euglena. Also, it occurs in simple algae and bacteria. As you can see, this is the video for some unicellular protozoans under microscope. They use binary fission for reproduction by the help of mitosis cell division. How does the reproduction by binary fission occur? As you can see, the nucleus divides by mitosis division and the cell splits into two cells. Each cell grows and becomes a new individual. Examples This is the binary fission of bacteria. As you can see, we started by only a single cell of bacteria and we reached this huge number of bacterial cells. These are two paramecium cells which are in their way to divide into two individual cells. As you can see, the division is finally occurred and we have new two cells of paramecium. Budding. It is a sexual reproduction produces new individuals by formation of buds in the parent cell. It occurs in unicellular organisms such as yeast, fungus. Also, it occurs in multicellular organisms such as hydra and sponges. How does the reproduction by budding occur in yeast fungus? As you can see, this is a yeast fungus. A bud emerges as a lateral blood in the cell. The cell nucleus divides mitotically into two nuclei, one in the mother cell and the other moves to the bud. This is the nucleus which will be divided mitotically. One will remain in the mother cell and the other will migrate toward the bud. The bud grows gradually. Then it separates from it. If the buds remain connected to the parent cell, a colony is formed. But if the bud is separated, we have a new cell. As you can see, this is a real image for the formation of a bud from the yeast fungus to form a new yeast fungus cell. This occurred through about four hours. Also, this is the reproduction of hydra by budding. 
as you can see we have a small bud which is emerged from the hedra mother cell which will grow to another hedra cell regeneration regeneration is the ability of animals to compensate their missing parts how starfish can reproduce starfish arm could be regenerated and give out a complete animal if they contain a part of the central disc this part is called the central disc of the animal hydra can do the same as a starfish if some parts are missing from hydra living organism they can grow again to form a complete part to compensate the missing parts sprogeny or spore propagation it occurs in some fungi such as bread mold fungus and mushrooms some algae how does the reproduction by spore propagation occur as you can see from this video each sprongium rupture and a large number of spores are released when spores are scattered on a suitable environment they grow to give new organisms or fungi vegetative reproduction it is an asexual reproduction by using vegetative organs except seeds it occurs without the need of seeds but by the plant vegetative organs such as leaves roots stems in order to produce new plants identical to the parent plant it also occurs by plant cells and tissue culturing as you can see this is what is called tissue culture the plant will grow fast to form a complete plant without any need for any seeds sexual reproduction it is a process by which living organism produces individuals with traits differ from parents it depends on two main processes the first one is gametes formation the second process is fertilization gametes formation gametes of male and female are formed in their reproductive cells by the meiotic division or meiosis gametes contain only half the number of chromosomes this means that they are haploid or contains only n fertilization it is the combination of a male gamete n and a female gamete n to form a zygote 2n which is a diploid cell which contains the normal number of chromosomes of the organism this is the process of combination between a sperm and ovum to form a zygote what's meant by zygote it is a cell produced due to fertilization and it contains the complete number of chromosomes of the living organism give reason for sexual reproduction is a source of the genetic variation from parents to children because offspring resulted from sexual reproduction gets his genetic traits from two sources the male and female as you can see a part is given from the father and the other part is given from mother let's compare between sexual and asexual reproduction sexual reproduction it occurs by two living organisms one of them is a male and the other is a female asexual reproduction it occurs by only one living organism sexual reproduction occurs in higher living organisms of plants and animals while asexual reproduction it mostly occurs in single 
celled living organisms. Sexual reproduction depends on meiotic cell division, while asexual reproduction depends on mitotic division. In sexual reproduction, the new offspring combines the genetic traits from two sources, male and female, while in asexual reproduction, the new offspring gets a full copy of the parent individual's genetic traits. This is the end of lesson 2. Thanks for watching.